because then you probably won't watch this video. Now you're probably expecting me to make some corny joke which makes me look like a complete idiot but makes you laugh. Too bad. All I'm going to say is sit down, get your popcorn, and watch the movie. And now without any further ado... Hello, I'm Melanie and I'm here to talk to you about the Bernoulli Principle. The Bernoulli Principle states that when air is moving faster, its pressure is lower. And the reason, when I blow into this, the pressure spreads out, and underneath the pressure is higher, so it actually holds it up. That was a fine example of the Bernoulli Principle. Here's Destiny with the Bunsen burner. Hi, I'm Destiny. This is the Bunsen burner. It's a device for heating things for scientific purpose. <clears throat> this spark is hot enough to reach kindling temperature. Here's Amy with her air pressure experiment. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm here to explain to you air pressure. The pre at the beginning of the experiment, the pressure in the can inside the can is equal to the pressure on the outside. When putting water in the bottom of the can and heating it, it, fresh it forces the air in the can out. The, water, the pressure on the outside of the can was greater than the pressure on the inside of the can, which caused the can to crush. Here's Cindy with her refraction experiment. Hello, my name is Cindy Mill, and I'm here to talk to you about refraction. This is the ruler when it's only being hit by the air rays. Now, when I put it in the water, you're hitting it by two mediums. So it's different on the water than in the air, and it looks all twisted and stuff. This is why, the reason why is because the light and water have two different velocities of light hitting them, and it twists everything up when you see it. Here's Matt with his prism experiment. Hi, I'm here to talk about a prism. A prism is a triangular piece of glass. When white light waves pass through the prism, it forms a spectrum. Each color is formed. The colors of the spectrum are the red, orange, yellow, 
green, blue, indigo, and violet. This is an example from the spectrum of a prism. Here's Tara with her center of gravity experiment. And I'll set it up. Hi, my name is Tara, and I'm going to be doing the center of gravity. The center of gravity is the point at which um, all weight seems to be centered. If I hold the wood here, 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 